And you know, this will be the sixth meeting all time between Notre Dame and Ohio State. The Irish won the first two matchups, but Ohio State has won the last three. And yeah, the Buckeyes winning a couple of regular season matchups in the 1990s and then 10 years ago, a Fiesta Bowl matchup. Boy, how much fun was that to watch? Buckeyes won that game 34 to 20. Troy Smith throwing for two touchdowns in the first real statement for him as the Heisman Trophy front runner for next season. And the Buckeye defense clamping down on a Notre Dame offense led by Dublin Coffin grad Brady Quinn. I caught up with Quinn today to talk about this year's Fiesta Bowl, but first I had to ask him what he remembered about that game 10 years ago. Well, obviously uh, the outcome for us didn't turn out the way we had hoped. Uh, I remember going into the game thinking this was probably the most talented team we'd played all year, and we'd played USC earlier in the year who ended up going on to play uh, against I remember going into it thinking we were going to have to outscore them uh, because we knew how good their offense was, obviously with Troy Smith uh, as quarterback for them, but we also knew how talented they were on the defense. So it was going to be a tough game for us. All right, so now you're an analyst, yeah. so let's pick your brain about this matchup this year. Uh, two good teams, two teams that obviously wish they were not playing in this game. They wish they were a week yeah. later for the national championship. What motivation for these teams? How do you think that's going to impact them as they go into this game? You know, anytime you have the opportunity to play in a, in a bowl like the Fiesta Bowl or, or versus a tough opponent, whether it's Ohio State or anyone else, I mean, you always try to bring your, your A game. And look, there's a lot of NFL talent on that field for both sides. So I think they'll be looking to put their best foot forward, especially for all those NFL scouts and evaluators, because they pay attention to these bowl games big time. And um, they re really use, you know, those tough opponents to evaluate how these players will play at the next level. So it'll mean a lot for those guys in particular. But I really think for both schools and universities, understanding these are the two of the top programs in the country. Let's start with Notre Dame because you're familiar with them. Yeah. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser has to come in in the middle of the year and, and take over a quarterback. What do you see from his game that uh, that's impressed you, I guess? Oh, he's just been so poised. I mean, uh, across the, his entire season, if you go down to when Malik Zaire got hurt earlier in the season, he stepped right in down to Charlottesville versus Virginia and led the team back um, to a win in the final moments of the game. He did that a number of times throughout the course of the season. You know, and Notre Dame's a team that's battled a ton of injuries. So just seeing how poised and how confident he's been in, uh, even though he's been you know, pretty experienced for the most part, has been pretty impressive. And then their offense, I mean, you have Will Fuller, CJ Process if he's healthy. They seem like they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe probably with Ohio State's offense, you think, right? Yeah, I think so. I think they've got the talent uh, and the ability to. I think the offensive line gets overlooked a lot of times, too, and that might be the most talented group they have. Uh, but, yeah, CJ Process being back would be huge. Josh Adams, another freshman, stepped up has done a tremendous job uh, in the backfield for them as well. So uh, if they're able to get some of those pieces going and if they can find a way to get Will Fuller some big plays like he's done all year, I think they'll be tough. Defensively, what do they have to do to stop Ohio State? Because they seem to get it rolling against Michigan after a kind of sputtering offensive first 11 games. Well, uh, look, it, it's not hard. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott, I think, is the best running back in the country. So if you can find a way to stopping the run game, uh, that will give yourself a chance. And, and I think uh, Notre Dame you know, has the ability to do that. I mean, Jalen Smith's you know, the best linebacker in the country to me when you watch the way he's able to track down ball carriers and, and play. Uh, Joe Schmidt is, is another solid linebacker option too. So I think if those guys uh, are able to make a bunch of tackles because the defensive tackles up front, like Sheldon Day for Notre Dame, can keep some of the offensive linemen off of them, I think they'll be able to, you know, be able to stay in the game, be able to stop Ezekiel Elliott, and, and hopefully give Notre Dame a chance on the outside in, in, in the pass, in pass coverage in the pass game. What is your take on Ohio State this year? Because they were the prohibitive number one never really seemed to get it going. What do you think you attribute the, 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 the struggles to? Well, it, it could be a number of things. I mean, look, coming into the season, I, I really thought JT Barrett was going to be the guy uh, to start off at quarterback. And I think the going back and forth is, is not only tough for the quarterbacks, but it's also tough for everyone else out around them because, you know, as, as much as you want them to try to be the same uh, in how they handle things, they're going to be different. They have their own personalities and so forth. So that's hard to adjust to. I think losing Tom Herdman down to Houston, you know, that's going to play a, a factor too in the offensive production. Uh, so I think you put all those things together and it becomes hard for a team to click. And unfortunately for Ohio State, they clicked versus Michigan. It'll just have to be a week too late. Uh, and that loss to Michigan State really hurt them. Well, now we go to this game. Do you have a prediction? How do you, or how do you see this game playing? I mean, even if you don't want to pick a winner, but how do you see it playing out in the game? You know, it's, it's so tough to tell uh, only because you don't have an opportunity to really look at these two teams versus uh, uh, common opponents. And, and when I look at Notre Dame, uh, you know, I'm not sure how they'll be able to kind of handle the time off that they had, if they're able to get guys back healthy or not. Uh, I'd have to say Ohio State is a very, very talented team. I mean, it'll, be a tough, it'll be a tough matchup. And I think it'll be close. So and when you look at you know, a couple of the losses that Notre Dame's had this season, when it was on the road to Clemson by two or Stanford by uh, you know, in the final minute, uh, seconds, uh, I think they can keep this close. Uh, but they're going to have to have a big day out of Deshaun Kaiser if they want to win.